So these guys uh, should deserve a real big round of applause here. A lot of, lot of differences in this class, some my speed, some more not, but I think the heifer that starts out, young man, if you want to lead her out, um, I think she strikes you right off the bat. I mean, her presence, her um, show ring presence gives you that attraction. She's really long level. She's got some rib shape. Um, she's good footed. Um, I'd like to change her a little bit. I maybe want to... Um, Feminine her up a little bit, maybe knock that tail head down a little bit, but super ultra attractive heifer, I think, uh, a great place to start. And it's kind of some give and take. This heifer coming in second is a little bit more my speed. She's really feminine headed, she's got that cowie look. She's maybe not as big boned as that heifer in second, but I think she has an advantage in just um, how elegant she looks through that front one third. Um, but I think the power and the mass of that white heifer um, overcomes that. Heifer in third here. Uh, really a nice attractive heifer. A heifer that's just kind of meat and potatoes. She's structurally sound. She gets around the rig in an adequate fashion. She's got a ton of muscle shape. Would I like to expand that rib shape in her? I think lower that that flank in her a little bit and I think she would um, present herself a lot better in that right. Um, heifer coming out in, in uh, fourth here. Really another nice complete heifer. Really pretty pretty in her design. I think we'd like to power that one up a little bit. Um, I think that one's got an ideal future of being a, a great cow. A um, couple heifers coming out here. Maybe just a little bit. The heifer coming out next. Heifer that you really appreciate. And A super bright future as cows. Um, can, let's give these guys another big round of applause. Congratulations to our the junior yearling heifer calf class. Winning that class was a heifer exhibited by Jake Hodge. Second blue by Lester Page. Our first red was J.J. Murfeld. Our second red was Cameron Gilmore. Our third red was Piper Murfell. Our fourth red was exhibited by Samantha Salmi. Our first white by Avery Skalitsky. And our second white by Jocelyn Edmonds. Coming into the ring at this time, we have um, our cow-calf pair followed by our cow class. We'll then be going into the naming of our champion overall registered beef female. So again, if we can have those class winners, prepared and ready to come back into the ring. But coming into the ring at this time, we should have our cow-calf pair. Nice cow-calf parody here to end our breeding show. Um, a cow that, like we talked in our open class, you know, you can see the production in these. So somewhat have a, an advantage over the heifers because you can project a lot more out of these guys. A cow that uh, you really appreciate and how well she's taking care of this calf. Calf that's really constructed well. He's long level. He's got a big hip in him. He's got a super bright future to him. And then a cow that's super big bodied, really nice udder. Really nice placement on her teeth. So I may criticize her. I might want to rotate her 
her pin set a little bit. She kind of gets a little slope um, coming out of her hip uh, when she gets on the move. But when this young lady gets her set up, she's pretty striking and, and a beautiful cow to look at. So congratulations. Congratulations to our Blue Ribbon winner of our cow-calf pair, exhibited by J.J. Merfeld. In the ring now, we have our champion registered cow. And then Scow is going to be your champion. Um, she'll be a single entry in this next class. So congratulations again, young lady. Congratulations to our Blue Ribbon winner in our uh, breeding stock cow class exhibited by J.J. Merfeld. At, the, at the, this time, coming into the ring, we'll have our registered breeding stock class. So these would be exhibitors that place first in their classes this morning. Our champion overall registered beef female plaque is sponsored by Coles, Windy Pines, Angus. And our reserve champion plaque is, um, ex is donated by the Bolin Cattle Company. In contention for our champion, we have our junior heifer calf, exhibited by Paige Lester. We have our first blue of our summer yearling, exhibited by Sam Zupke. And our runner-up in that class was exhibited by Jocelyn Edmonds. From our junior yearling heifer class, we have our class winner, Jake Hodge, and our runner-up in that class, Paige Lester. Then again, we have our cow-calf pair, and our cow. The cow-calf pair and cow are both exhibited by J.J. Merfeld. Let's give these young exhibitors a big round of applause as our judge is making his decision. here to end our breeding show um, a cow that like we talked
As we get out here to select our champion uh, breeding heifer, let's give these guys a big round of applause. I get the opportunity to judge a few of these county fairs a year, but most of the time I'm sitting on the other side of the fence. So if I seem a little nervous, you're probably just as nervous as you guys are. But um, really a good lineup here. Um, you never really know what to expect, but I think as we start with the calf and I'll go all the way progress through to the cow-calf pair, you can kind of see the quality, that uh, resemblance in each other and, and the kind of cattle that I like to, to pick. They gotta be sound, they gotta be functional. They gotta have some meat and muscle to them. They, they've gotta be a little good looking too. We wanna show these guys, so we want them to catch, their, catch your eye um, kind of when you come in the ring. So um, some of them have an advantage over others and some of them, you know, if we could pick some of these heifers apart and put them all together, I think we'd have a pretty darn good one out here. But um, I'm gonna go out and just take one more quick look and then I'll get you a champion and a reserve. Congratulations, you guys. Congratulations to our champion overall registered beef female exhibited by Jake Hodge. The award sponsor is, ex is sponsored by Coles Windy Pines Angus. Congratulations to our reserve champion overall, registered beef female, exhibited by Sam Zupke. The award sponsor for our reserve champion overall, registered beef female, is donated by the Bolin Cattle Company. Congratulations to our registered junior exhibitors of our beef females. Starting now, we'll move into our commercial classes. We need to get our junior bull calf in first followed by our junior heifer calf, senior heifer calf, summer yearling, junior yearling, and senior yearling, and then our cow calf pairs. Those classes are gonna move pretty quickly. So let's make sure that we have all of those commercial breeding stock animals uh, registered and checked in at the um, entrance of the Farm Progress Arena. We'll be starting with our junior bull calf, moving into our junior heifer, senior heifer, and then move into our yearlings.
single entry bull here to start off our commercial show. A uh, calf that's uh, got a ton of meat and muscle in him. He's uh, good and level over his top. It extends that muscle down through his quarter. A uh, calf that maybe I'd like to put a little bit bigger lumber underneath him, stout him up for all that muscle he's got on, but a calf that's functional can be a good, um, good prospect for that young man. And he's going to be our champion bull, so let's give that young man a big round of applause. Eileen Cindy Harderick. Once again, let's give a big round of applause to our champion bull exhibitor, Cameron Gilmore. Coming into the ring at this time, we should have our junior heifer calves. Abby Streeter, we're looking for your junior heifer calf. If you could please bring that to the Farm Progress Arena again, Abby Streeter.
coming into the ring at this time, we should have our junior heifer calves. I think uh, really an exceptional one to start our class off here is kind of what I, I could really get tied into. I think a heifer that's uh, really good in her angles. She comes out of her head, out of her neck and her blade really nice through that neck and she keeps a level. She's fighting the, ha fighting the young lady today. It's really hard to take these young calves out and try to get them presented as well as they can. But she's given me enough really good looks that I can analyze this this heifer the way I want to, but big, bold rib, center rib. She comes off that hip really nice and smooth and level with a big, powerful hip. She gets around the ring exceptionally well. Heifer that I really like a lot. Heifer that comes in mimics that heifer in some, some areas. A heifer that uh, really has a lot of bits and pieces that you, you love. You love the bone size that this one carries. You love the frame, you love the frame size that this one has. You love the angles of the neck. To me, she might, I might want to angle her shoulder up a little bit. She kind of gets a little bit tight up top. She's smooth and balanced out back, but we want to, um, but another one that carries herself in a really good, good looking pas uh, package. Um, Hef Red Heifer coming out here in third. Maybe just uh, a little bit frailer made compared to her contemporaries ahead of her, but a heifer that balances up really nice, got some muscle shape. She's smooth and, and sound as she gets out. Um, another heifer that's got a bright future to her. Then we come with a couple calves in the end. Maybe just don't have the muscle shape. The power is the three ahead of them. But heifers that are structurally sound, they're ideal in their makeup. Uh, heifers that are going to go out and be nice breeding projects for these two young ladies. So let's give these guys a big round of applause. Congratulations, winning our junior heifer calf class was a heifer exhibited by Madison Wagner. Second blue was exhibited by J.J. Murfeld. Earning our first red was Adeline Reed. Second red, Abby Streeter. And our third red, at Autumn Lewick. Coming into the ring at this time, our next class is our senior heifer calf class.
Let's give these guys a big round of applause. Really a good uh, class top to bottom here. Um, after that, we're going to start off with the, half, the black heifer out here. Really a striking to look at. She really catches your eye when you come. Uh, she comes in the ring. Um, heifer that's super good in her level and her lines. Uh, heifer that maybe is a little bit upright in her shoulder. I'd like to see her get move a little bit out, uh, out a little bit better in that aspect. And then a heifer that maybe to me reads a little bit harder. I'd like to see a little bit more. I'd like to see her a little bit softer looking. But a, a heifer that uh, starts a class off uh, pretty handily in my opinion. And we kind of get into a, a decision making process here. And I opted to go with the Her Hereford heifer here. Um, heifer that's just really functional. Meat and potatoes heifer. A heifer that's bigger in her frame than, most, uh, than the rest of the class. But a heifer that carries that uh, really nice and smooth and balanced. Then we got um, kind of the under, uh, other end of the spectrum. We've got a really a moderate, very complete. You love the massiveness. This is probably the most massive heifer out in this uh, class. With that, I think she's carrying a little bit of extra condition. I'd like to maybe um, clean her up a little bit through that one front, front one third, but really a nice complete heifer. And we kind of got a meat, a, a meat heifer here, a heifer that's uh, really well balanced, really good in her line. She's got tons of muscle in her top and a lot of lower shape to her. Maybe I'd just like to make her a little bit more attractive up through that front front one third um, compared to the contemporaries ahead of her. And then rounding off our class, a heifer that's uh, very useful, a heifer that's uh, a little bit greener than the rest and maybe she could uh, power that one up a little bit and she stand a little bit higher in the class today. But uh, congratulations to everybody. Congratulations, winning our senior heifer calf class. First blue is exhibited by Caden Atkins. Second blue by Brennan Drager. First red by Autumn Renock. Second blue by Joshua Roberts. And first...
two nice heifers here in our uh, intermediate champion division. I think uh, some give and take in these heifers. I kind of scratched my head a little bit because I am a structure guy. Uh, I, I like the structure of the heifer in the second better than first, but to me, the heifer in first just overwhelms you with the amount of power and mass and product that that heifer has, and I think that's where she excels over our red heifer in our second. But I like to uh, sound her up. She kind of a little real, little restricted off her rear two. A heifer that when she gets on the move, she balances up quite nice. Uh, maybe we'd like to take a little bit of that chest out of her, but I think she just overwhelms um, in, a, in, a, in a mass uh, competition. A uh, heifer that's in second, super sound. Heifer that I really appreciate for the way she does travel across the ring. Uh, with that, she does um, kind of wants to um, get a little bit rocky in her... Um, tail head there. Maybe I think as we feed that one and put a little bit more shape into her, she's going to blend out and smooth out. But two nice heifers for that class. Blue ribbon winners in our summer yearling heifer class. First blue exhibited by Alex Lukey. to the fair and I am so excited to have you guys here today. Let's give our exhibitors a round of applause for their hard work today. <laughs> Later in here in the ring at noon will be the market show for the steers and this afternoon will be the market lamb show and tonight at 7 p.m. will be the Badger State tractor pulls. I look forward to seeing you all the rest of the week and thank you all for coming today.
Another good class, very interesting class here. I think um, for me, the heifer that comes to the top um, does so in just kind of a, you know, a pieces package. I think there's a lot of good things about that heifer. Uh, she's really given the, the young lady fits, but uh, to me that one uh, is the soundest at the ground with the most muscle expression in the class with that good uh, look, that good shoulder ring look. So I think she's got the advantage in just um, just the small things in this class. There's a, a lot of variances, but uh, I think that one kind of comes together um, in the end for me. Um, the heifer in the uh, second coming out here, the red heifer, heifer that just kind of fell into that spot because she's uh, pretty solid. She's uh, solid middle. She's solid constructed. She gets around the, the ring in an adequate fashion. She's not overwhelming in muscle or anything like that. Uh, she's not overwhelming in that neck shape. In fact, I'd like to kind of clean that up a little bit, um, but just a pretty solid, uh, complete heifer. And the, the black and white one coming out here, uh, for me, just does it uh, from the ground up. Um, a heifer that's really probably the soundest one in the class, uh, but she kind of gives up a little bit more of that muscle shape when you get behind her, uh, but a cow that you really appreciate for the balance and lines. And we kind of come with an oddball in the class, our moderate frame heifer. And really, that doesn't bother me at all, uh, being a, a moderate frame heifer. What concerns me is just how she does get around the ring. She's made... Two solid, fun uh, functional heifers be go out and be good breeding pieces for these young exhibitors. Congratulations. Congratulations to our junior yearling heifer class winners. Winning the show was Madison Wagner. Second blue was exhibited by Savannah Gaska. First red was exhibited by Adrian Lewick. Fourth, uh, or Second red, exhibited by Kuiper Murfeld. Third red was exhibited by Aaron Lenhart. First, wh uh, ex first white was exhibited by Riley Renock. Coming into the ring at this time, we have our senior yearling heifer. Single entry out here for our uh, senior champion female. Let's give this young lady a, a good round of applause. She's, she's got a really nice heifer out here. Kind of, uh, as you guys can kind of see, um, she's really level in her lines. A heifer that's stout at the ground. You love the amount of bone size that she has. You love the femininity up through that one front one-third. Uh, for me, she's just a little bit frailer. Um, I think... Uh, 
a little bit more feet on that one and get some more rib shape in that one, and that one will be awfully nice down the road. Congratulations. Single entry out here for our uh, senior champion female. Let's give this young lady a, a good round of applause. She's, she's got a really nice heifer out here. Kind of, uh, as you guys can kind of see, um, she's really level in her lines. A heifer that's stout at the ground. You love the amount of bone size that she has. You love the femininity up through that one front one third. Uh, for me, she's just a little little bit frailer. Um, I think uh, a little bit more feet on that one. And Kind of the same thing here. We're rounding up our commercial half, uh, breeding show uh, with the cow-calf pairs. I think uh, this cow-calf cow pair just kind of uh, comes to the top pretty easily. We saw this heifer calf uh, earlier. I was curious as to what kind of a cow she was out of. Now I, get, I guess I get the, my answer here. But cow that's really well constructed. You love how uh, big bone she is. You love how massive middle she is. She's not the prettiest cow uh, as far as for show cow qualities. But she really holds her huddered 
together. And I think the advantage for me uh, this pair has is this heifer calf. It's just dynamite, in my opinion. Um, the cow that comes in second, really a nice, rugged, good-looking cow. Cow that uh, gets around the ring in an adequate fashion. She's really got a stout little bull calf on him. That guy is a meatball. So she's going to be a lot of fun for this young lady next year. But let's congratulate these guys. Great set of cow-calf pairs. Earning a first blue in our cow-calf pair is exhibited by Madison. This time we will have our cow class. We're going to round this up with uh, the single cow and we're going to use the one that uh, won the last class. Just a really nice, well-constructed cow. Congratulations to our first blue in the cow class, exhibited by Madison Wagner. At this time, we'll be naming our champion overall commercial beef female. As soon as we do that, we'll be naming our supreme champion beef female, so let's have those animals ready. In contention for being named our champion overall commercial beef female from our junior heifer calf class we have Madison Wagner from our senior heifer class we have Caden Atkins from our summer yearling heifer class we have Alex Lukey from our junior yearling heifer class we have Madison Wagner from our senior yearling heifer class we have Emma Wiedenfeld And our cow exhibited by Madison Wagner.
I think these guys deserve a uh, big round of applause. Kind of wrapping up our breeding show here with our champion commercial heifer. Uh, commercial heifer is just a, kind of an off-breed, uh, could be any multitude of breeds combination. So you kind of kind of take that into factor and consideration because not all these guys are created equal out here. There's a lot of different breed characteristics. So when I judge these cattle, I look I look at that, and then I also look at the the cattle that you know to me are most ideal the, the the ones that I'd like to take home the the cattle that I think you can build off of and I think this lineup is exceptionally well from top to bottom I'm not going to go by and talk each one of them but I think we talked them all good in class you can kind of get my idea of what I'm looking for I'm looking for a little bit uh, these cattle got to be sound they got to be big middle they got to be elegant and they got to be pretty looking so uh, I think we there's one out here that uh um, I think I uh, like a whole bunch, and um, I'm going to go pick your champion, and then we'll get a look at for reserve. So congratulations, guys. Congratulations to... Madison Wagner for exhibiting your champion overall, uh, your champion overall commercial beef female. That award is sponsored by Coles w Windy Pine Angus. Congratulations to our reserve champion overall, Commercial B Female, exhibited by Caden Atkins. The award sponsor is the Bolin Cattle Company. At this time, we'll be naming our Supreme Champion Beef Female. We're going to round this up with uh, the single cow and we're going to use the one that uh, won the last class, just a really nice, well-constructed cow. Congratulations to our first blue in the cow class. And the, the champion overall commercial beef female was exhibited by Madison Wagner. The reserve champion overall registered beef female was exhibited by Sam Zupke, and our reserve champion overall commercial beef female was exhibited was exhibited by Caden Atkins.
Well, one more big round of applause for our breeding show exhibitors. Uh, the breeding stock, uh, that, that's kind of our bread and butter. We're, uh, we're a family-owned uh, business. My wife and I and our three kids, we run about 70 registered Angus cows and, and a small feedlot. So it's really my living. So uh, the breeding females to me are, are, are the most sacred in my, in my bunch. Um, uh, when I judge these shows, I kind of pick the cattle that I think are uh, what would represent my uh, program the best and uh, the cattle that I think have the most uh, future. And I think uh, with this lineup out here, we kind of sort it to this group. and uh, They're exceptional. I take each one of them home, uh, start a breeding program with them. So that's com uh, commendable for these young exhibitors. I'm assuming most of these bred and raised these animals themselves, so that's no hard feat in itself. But uh, the breeding cattle, it starts with these, and then we'll see the market animals uh, later. But this is kind of where our market animal show comes from, so these young exhibitors should be super proud of uh, where they are. Um, I gave a little bit of a speech this morning. I, usually I row, row my crew uh, on show morning, and you know we worked really hard to get to this point. Um, and it takes a long time, especially when you're in the beef show. So we, we try to keep a level head during show day, and we try to really enjoy it. And that's what I, uh, my advice to you guys uh, is just savor the moment. Um, win, lose, or draw, we're all here. We all should feel really accomplished that we've uh, gotten this far and, and, and gotten our projects to this point. So hats off to you guys. Um, I won't keep the suspense. I won't talk to them. Uh, I, I think there's a couple out here that really uh, ideal. I, I, I like a bunch. So I'm going to take one little look at them quick, and then I'm going to select you a supreme champion. So congratulations and the best of luck for the rest of the day, you guys. Congratulations, our champion overall, our Supreme Champion B Female, exhibited by Madison Wagner. Our Reserve Supreme Champion B Female was exhibited by Jake Hodge. That concludes our breeding stock um, show for today. We're moving right into our feeder calf show. So what we have coming in the ring first is our feeder calf beef show. We're starting with class one. So class one of our feeder calf beef was exhibited by Caden Atkins. Our reserve Supreme Champion B Female, our award sponsor is Kane Livestock Sales. So once again, coming into the ring at this time, we need our feeder, okay. our beef feeder, class one.
right, once again, in the ring at this time, we have our first class of our beef feeder calves. Now, these beef feeder calves range in, uh, anywhere between 350 and 445 pounds. If you've been watching our show this morning, our judge today is Andy Miedemann. He and his wife, Lee, and their three kids, Maggie, Gabe, and Paige, um, own and operate a 70-head Angus cow-calf operation in Farmington. They have a small feedlot where they direct market to their customers. And the big news is they have an annual online sale for uh, future prospects, etc., um, and that's on October 10th. October 10th.
good class of uh, feeder calves to start our market show. These kids should all be commended. They all raised their own calves. Um, I think the calf that we start off with, uh, to me, the, the top two pair, they're, they're pretty similar in their time, type and kind, but I think the calf that uh, leads off our class, young man, you want to just start heading out towards the gate. Uh, really puts a lot of uh, combination together with, for me. He's got a big hip in him. He's got a big top in him. He carries that real level. You get him on the move, he tracks really well for uh, his age. The calf that I, I project to grow into a, a, a good, good looking fat steer, good show steer. Uh, the calf that follows him, the little black calf here, really similar in his type and kind. Really nice up through that neck, really jagged looking, cool looking. But maybe just gives up a little bit more muscle, a little bit more shape over that top uh, than the the calf as the calf leading the class calf coming out next this white calf uh, kind of jammed up a little bit today but uh, he's kind of given that kid, kid a, a little bit of fits but a calf that you really appreciate uh, same with the shape he's probably got a little bit more shape through that rear hip uh, calf that I'd like to maybe blend together a little bit better coming out of that shoulder uh, but a calf that's got a bright future a lot of meat and muscle in that one then it kind of comes down to a couple uh, calves that are a little bit more refined compared to our class winners and uh, the, the top three cattle, but are really a super functional calf right here in this Hereford calf. Calf that's kind of what you see is what you get. He's got some meat, he's got some muscle, he's got some top, he's got some structure, so he's got a, a, a bright future to him. Then we kind of follow up with the speckle calf here, uh, another calf. Maybe he just kind of gets a little bit angled out of his shoulder. Uh, you want to maybe upright that a little bit, um, balance him up. He maybe gets a little bit softer in that hip as far as appearance for muscle when you get behind him compared to the ones ahead of him. The young lady shorthorn calf here, really good in its lines, got some muscle shape. I think that calf, as we put him on feed, he's going to level a little bit top, smooth and balance out a little bit nicer for me. And, and, uh, and then we round the calf class up with a young man with the red calf here. Really a nice uh, tall frame calf, calf that looks like he's going to read and feed good. A calf that maybe just does not have the, the prettiness and, and the, the stoutness of the ones ahead of him, but a calf that will be a good project for this young man in future. So congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to our winner of Class 1 of the Beef Feeder Calf Show. First blue is exhibited by Hayden Gibbs. A nice uh, tall frame calf, calf that looks like he's going to read and feed good, a calf that maybe just does not have the, the prettiness and, and the, the stoutness of the ones ahead of him, but a calf that will be a good project for this young man in future. So congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to our winner of Class 1 of the Beef Feeder Calf Show. First blue is exhibited by Hayden Gibbs. Second blue exhibited by Colin Wagner. First red was exhibited by Joshua Roberts. Second red by Everett Clue. First white, I say Younger. Second white, Jocelyn Edmonds. And third white, Oliver Stone. Coming into the ring at this time, we have class number two of beef feeder calves. The calves in this class range in weight.
Very interesting class here, a beef feeder calves, some give and take in all of these cattle that you appreciate the muscle. And, um, actually, this calf that came in, I thought initially, man, this guy's just pretty plain, but the more that I look at him, the more he grows on me. He's pretty solid, actually. A uh, calf that's really well balanced. You love how balanced he is. He's got no hair. He's what, what you see is what he, you get. He's got some extension up through that. Um, he doesn't overwhelm you in any way, but I think he wins this class on sheer completeness and volume and just how uh, well that calf holds himself together. Then there's a give and take in the uh, second and third for me. Um, I think it comes down to structure for me on the, on the second and first. This guy is super sound. He's really pretty. He's elegant. He's going to be a bigger frame steer, but he has also got some muscle to him. He's got some shape and he holds that all together. And I think that's where he uh, comes uh, a little notch ahead of the calf in third. Calf in third by all means. Stoutest bugger in the group. We saw him on a cow-calf pair earlier. Calf that uh, big top, big hip. Uh, I just question a little bit of structure on this calf. As we progress and put some more weight on him, will he hold that together or will he get too far underneath him? Uh, those are my question marks and that's kind of where he lands, where he does. Calf uh, coming in fourth here, calf that you really appreciate its length of body. Maybe we'd like to put uh, a little bit more fill down there in his flank. Maybe he wants to snap a, a little bit on those rear two. I question his structure a little bit going ahead. Um, the, the calf coming out next, bigger, most product in the class. I just want to see that calf come together a little bit. He gets really underneath it uh, when he gets set up. Uh, calf that's, he'd like to maybe straighten up a little bit on this uh, off of his hock, but a calf that's got tons of volume and, and muscle to him. And then we round off the calf class with a calf that's really nice, uh, really sound, functional. Just maybe doesn't gives up an, uh, a lot of power compared to the ones ahead of him. But great class all around. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations to our winner of class two. First blue is exhibited by Piper Murfeld. Second blue exhibited by Elijah Zick. First red exhibited by Callie Zupke. Second blue by Natalie. He's got tons of volume and, and muscle to him. And then we round off the calf class with a calf that's really nice, uh, really sound, functional. Just maybe doesn't gives up an, uh, a lot of power compared to the ones ahead of him. But great class all around. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations to our winner of class two. First blue is exhibited by Piper Murfeld. Second blue exhibited by Elijah Zick. First red exhibited by Callie Zupke. Second blue.
Let's give these guys a big round of applause. So we're, we're all here to select our champion feeder calf. A lot of these calves will come back here next year, I'm assuming, and compete uh, at a much heavier weight. But right now, it's kind of give and take. We look at projections, how we think these cattle are going to progress along their uh, lifespan to get to this point here next year. And I see a lot of good in all four of these. I see a lot of promise, a lot of future. There's some differences in them. Um, a calf that comes and wins our first class, really a stout bugger, really a good looking guy. I think if he holds himself together, that guy will come back and be very competitive here next year. Really like the jaw set, the neck. He kind of gives you a really good freaky look, big hip. A calf that wins the second class, really just uh, no holes in this guy. I mean, nothing that overwhelms you, but a calf that you appreciate and how well balanced he is, how smooth, smooth he is. He's fresh. He's not uh, over conditioned. Uh, calf that you really appreciate uh, all the fact those factors involved. So it's kind of a give and take. Um, I'm going to go with the young lady that uh, won the second class. I think that calf is really complete. I think he just overpowers the rest of them. I think as we get in reserve, I think um, it's a lot of speculation here. I think um, as we look to the future, I think the young man in the first class has got a brighter one. So congratulations, he'll be reserved. Congratulations to our champion beef feeder exhibited by Piper Murfeld, the award sponsor for our, our champion beef female. Our Dwayne and, uh, award is Dwayne and Janet Arndt. Our reserve champion beef feeder is exhibited by Hayden Gibbs. The award sponsor are Scott and Beth Gunther. Coming into the ring at this time, we will have our dairy feeder calves. Our dairy feeder calves are up next. The calves in this class range in weight from 402 pounds to 555.
sound pretty close. Yeah, that's <laughs> we're good. We had one pair we were facing. Oh, I'm glad you guys did. Want to head out the door, bud? Just head them that way. So we get into our dairy feeder cast here. I'll be the first one to admit this is not my forte, but I look uh, when I'm judging these guys. I'm looking at uh, beef beef steer quality or, or attributes, um, the things that I look for and, and uh, what I'm, uh, they ultimately these guys are going to end up in the same as the beef cattle. So, uh, but the calf that starts the class off, a uh, calf that's moderate in his build, a calf that's got some muscle shape to him, he's got some depth of body, you get that calf set up, he's really fun to look at, he's striking from the side, a calf that I think wins this class and wins it pretty handily. And then we get into some bigger frame calves, uh, the calf that comes out and and two, probably the biggest frame calf in, in this class, uh, but a calf that really holds himself to well, together really well. You look at him from the side, you love how his neck transmits into his shoulder blade and stays level all the way through his top and through his, his loin. And then the calf that kind of gets out and, and uh, uh, moves the ring in an adequate fashion. Calf that comes in, sec in third, uh, it's a pretty close place here, but you know when I'm studying these guys over the top, the calf that comes out in second has just got a little bit more shape to that top for me, and I think that's where he gets the advantage, but a pretty similar product uh, in that third place class. Then a calf that comes out um, here in fourth, a calf that's just maybe a little bit greener in his makeup, maybe a little harder uh, to look at from a, a, a feed standpoint, but a calf that you know gets around the ring adequate. Um, in his own right, and, and as we round up our class, a calf, another bigger frame calf kind of gets overwhelmed with the body mass and, and the muscle shape that we have ahead of him, but a calf that I think projects uh, to feed really well and be sound and functional for that young man next year, so congratulations. Congratulations to our class winner. To him, he's got some depth of body. You get that calf set up, he's really fun to look at. He's striking from the side, a calf that I think wins this class and wins it pretty handily. And then we get into some bigger frame calves. Uh, the calf that comes out in, in two, probably the biggest frame calf in, in this class. was exhibited by Bentley Gantz, and the award sponsor were the Milwaukee Stockyards. Our reserve champion dairy feeder was Kayla Meyer. And the award sponsor is AC Agronomy. Coming into the ring at this time, we have our dairy crossbred feeder calves.
has told these are sisters, so. Very interesting class here. I think uh, as we sort through these, these there's, a, uh, there's a pair up here at the top and then there's another pair right here. Uh, but I think the, the calf that comes out and leads this class, I think he just puts a lot more together in a more balanced package. He's a little bit more attractive to me when you get him on the side. A calf that the young lady does a heck of a nice job showing him. He's always got him presented. A calf that's got some muscle. He's got some top shape to him. He's not as heavy muscled as this calf that comes in in second. Uh, but I think he balances up a, just a nickel better for me today, and that's where he has the advantage. Calf that comes on probably the biggest top, biggest hip calf that in the class. For me, he's just not as attractive. I'd like to maybe make him just a little bit more attractive in that jaw area. Uh, but he is a heavy muscle guy. He's a big top, and he's a, a calf that gets around the ring in an adequate fashion. Next two coming in, um, I actually thought this might be my top pair here. They, they look very similar. They might be uh, almost twins here, but um, a calf that comes out next just has a little bit more shape to him. He's got a little bit more presence uh, as far as out in the ring. He's a little bit more mobile than the calf that comes out in fourth. Calf in fourth, you like that front end in him. I like that extension. I just like to widen him up a little bit in that pin set just to kind of come up a little bit more. Um, calf coming out here, uh, for me, most represents what I look for and, and as far as looking like a beef steer, a uh, calf to me that just gets a little bit structurally unwonky for me. He kind of wants to set down on that low on that pasture. He's a little upright in his shoulder and it's making him top, pop that top. But a calf that you really appreciate the base width that he's got, the, the, the width of top that he's got in him. Red and white calf coming out next. Really a nice structurally sound calf. Really, just uh, for me, just a little bit frailer made. He's a little bit narrow in that pin set. He, I'd like to widen his top up a little bit. Uh, but a calf that I think project uh, feeding good uh, would be a nice project for this young lady. Next calf coming out, maybe a taller frame. Maybe just a little bit more rugged looking for me. A calf that's a little bit, uh, maybe a harder to read as far as shape. Um, he just a little bit, he's going to be a bigger, taller steer, so I'm assuming he'll finish out uh, at a heavier weight, uh, but a calf that's structurally sound, it's got some shape to him. Red and white calf coming out next, calf that's got some top shape to him, calf that maybe I'd like to pretty him up a little bit, I'd like to tuck that navel up a little bit in him, I'd like to tear a little bit of that jaw down, uh, just give him a little bit more of a show ring presence, but a big beefy, uh, larger frame calf. Then we're kind of coming to a couple calves that are very similar in their own right. Maybe a little bit frailer made, a little frailer at the ground. Maybe I uh, like to stouten them up, uh, starting at that foot. Uh, cattle that are functional, cattle that look like they're going to feed good, um, but just need to stouten them up a little bit to, to get them any higher in this class. But congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to our Derry Crossbird class. First blue is exhibited by Faith Weekman. Second blue by Gracie Weekman. Third blue by Levi Weekman. First red, Josh Gunther. Second red was exhibited by Lily York. Third red by Olivia Klug. First white was exhibited by Malcolm Spoke. Second white by Everett Klug. Third white, Kennedy Wagner. First pink, Autumn Lewick. Second pink, Eli Gunther. Our champion dairy crossbred feeder was exhibited by Faith Weekman. The award sponsor was Gunther Hoof Care. Our reserve champion dairy crossbred feeder was exhibited by Gracie Weekman. And the award sponsor is Scott and Beth Gunther. Coming into the ring at this time is our Beef Feeder Calf Futurity Show.
As told, these are sisters, so. The steer that Colin is showing had a daily, or an average rate of gain of 2.37 pounds per day. For those of you in the audience, our, our feeder calf futurity show, these were feeder calves that our um, exhibitors showed last year and brought back this year. Well, this is kind of an interesting class. These youngsters uh, all brought these calves here and showed them last year, so they're eligible to come back and show them this year. That means that this kind of shows you how much time that they've had with these animals. Um, most of them have raised them, so most of these guys are between uh, 16 and 18 months old, so that just kind of shows you uh, the, the time commitment that they have. But um, young man that uh, going to come out and win this class, I think a calf that just overwhelms the, the rest of them as far as genuine product um, and that show ring look. Calf's um, presented well. Uh, calf gets out and he's uh, a sound structured. Uh, you get over top of him, you like that big old wide top in him, and then it, it carries on through that hip, and I think that's where he has the advantage. I think it kind of gets close in between second and third. For me, I just like the angle. I like the appearance of this calf. You get your hands on him. He's really good and covered. Uh, a calf that uh, maybe doesn't quite get around the ring as, light, as well as some of the rest of them, but I think as you look at him and analyze his angles, uh, it's kind of a fun one to look at. Big steer coming in third, uh, a really a high performance steer. Now, when we're looking at hanging these things up on the rail, I think uh, that one's probably going to produce the best edible product in the class. Well, with that, he gets a little bit flatter sided. He gets a little bit flatter on that hip. Uh, he's a little bit big for me. Um, I'd like to tone him down in that aspect, but a calf that's just gonna, got a ton of red meat and got a, a ton of product in him. And then we round the class off with this uh, white, white speckled calf coming here, and he's no slouch himself. Calf that is market ready. 
a young lady that's done a really nice job uh, feeding him and taking him all the way through here. A calf that gives up a little bit more performance to the three ahead of him, but a calf that gets around uh, is going to hang up an ideal carcass. Congratulations uh, to all you guys. Congratulations to our Beef Feeder Calf Futurity Show winners. First blue was exhibited by Colin Wagner. Second blue exhibited by Madison Wagner. First red exhibited by Caden Atkins. And second red, Jocelyn Edmonds. The award sponsor for our champion Beef Feeder Futurity is CMJ Pre Premium Meats. Coming into the ring at this time, we have our Dairy, calf, uh, dairy Feeder Calf Futurity Show. Just for your information, following the conclusion of this class, we're going to take about 10 minutes to set up. So you'll have a quick break um, for about 10 minutes. Then we're going to start with our dairy um, steers first. We've got a few more classes of dairy steers. So we're going to start with a couple classes of those before we start our beef steer classes. Let's give a quick round of applause for our judge today, Mr. Andy Mindeman. He's been doing a great job so far today. He's had quite a workout.
congratulations uh, to all you guys. Congratulations to our Beef Feeder Calf Futurity Show winners. First blue was exhibited by Colin Wagner. Second blue exhibited by Matt. Very interesting class here on our Dairy Cross Steers. Uh, class, that there, like I said, in a lot of other classes, there's a lot of give and take. There's a lot of carcass value. There's a lot of uh, structural value. There's a lot of different things that I was looking and going through my head. And, and when this uh, blue and, and white calf come out, I mean, first of all, you get that impression. You like that color pattern. Okay, he looks, uh, he's kind of different from the rest of them. But as you study this guy, he's super long spine. You love that about him. You love how he takes that that spine all the way up through his tail head. He's got a big hip in him. He's got a really big top in him. And actually, when you get your hands on him, he's got enough cover on him for me. He's gonna hang an ideal carcass and a little bit more moderate pack, package. Uh, the big uh, scimitol looking steer coming in the second. Uh, really uh, just a fundamentally good fat steer. Uh, if you had a lot of these, you'd be making money. A calf that, to me, uh, when we get him out here in the show ring, I'd like to uh, pretty him up just a little bit, and I think uh, that's some of the traits of the breed, but uh, I think the, the blue calf has the advantage in all the, the, the EXTs, the extras in this class, and I think that's where that calf lands in second. Um, a couple um, calf coming out in, in third here, uh, a little bit bigger frame, a calf that when you get your hands on him, he's got a good cover to him, he's got a good wide top in him. Uh, for me, he kind of falls short on structure. Um, he wants to kind of roll that hip down into him, and then with that, it kind of breaks in his loin, um, and, and it's just a little bit distracting there, but another high-yielding, uh, good car quality carcass uh, coming out. Calf coming here next, calf that you really love and appreciate for carcass merit calf that you get your hands on him. He is finished to the nine. He holds that cover. He's smooth. He's well balanced. Calf for me, he just does not get out and move. I'd like to have him hit in one more gear, and I think um, it might be a little bit different story, but for me where he lands, it's just on structure. I'd like to free him up a little bit from the ground when he gets out, uh, from, from when you're viewing him behind him, but a calf that you really appreciate and overall carcass merit. Then we've got a couple calves that just didn't power up quite as well. This young calf, I appreciate his lines. I appreciate um, how well he's constructed. Uh, he's not really getting around. He's a little gym, ginger on that right rear today. I don't know if he got uh, something in his foot or whatnot, but I think he's just got the advantage over the last place calf and just sheer structure and, and uh, as far as how, how that structure is designed. Calf coming out in last. A lot of Good product in that calf. I'd like to just tie him together a little bit better. He kind of gets a little bit roachy coming out of his shoulder blade. And with that, he kind of dips down into his loin and comes back over his top. I'd just like to balance him up a little bit better uh, for him to compete any higher today. But great class of uh, crossbred dairy steers. Give these guys a big round of applause. Congratulations to our Dairy Feeder Calf Futurity Show winner. First blue is exhibited by Cassie Fick. Second blue exhibited by Everett Klug. First red was exhibited by Mara Skalitsky. Fourth, or excuse me, second red was exhibited by Avery Skalitsky. First white was exhibited by Ella Breaker. Second white by Jocelyn Edmonds. So our champion Dairy Feeder Futurity winner was Cassie Fick. The award sponsor was CMJ premium meats. Our reserve champion dairy feeder of the futurity was Everett Klug, and our dairy rate of gain award went to Avery Skalitsky, and that award sponsor is Ralph Paul. At this point, we're going to take about a 10-minute break to get the ring set up. We'll have the market steer show on the north end. We'll have the dairy on the south end. We will be uh, doing a couple of the dairy steer classes before we start the beef classes.
All right, at this time, we would like to get the dairy uh, steer class, uh, the dairy sh uh, beef show started. So class number one, if you could start making your way, we're going to uh, start with our dairy beef class number one. Coming in for dairy class one, we should have Coy Leppel, Caden Leppel, Jocelyn Edmonds, Brody Baring, Tracy Robert, or excuse me, Robert Tracy, and Clarissa Clentz. Let's make your way to the dairy beef class number one. Be that right now. 